It's pretty sponsored by Squarespace, but I'll tell you more about them later. This is gonna be an honest studio tour. I wanted to do a beautiful studio tour. My studio just isn't ready and I realized it hasn't been ready for a very, very long time and it just kind of never will be ready. It's a working space. Its primary purpose is not actually for video, it's for my practice, which is drawing. And by honest, I just mean I'm not trying to clean everything up. The space is as it is. I think that that's gonna be kind of nice in comparison to all the like really beautiful, pristine tours that we often see. So I'm sitting at my drawing desk and this doesn't really look like a drawing desk right now. Currently it looks more like an electrician's table. Let's see if we can focus on that. I'm currently busy working on a lot of things right now. All of this has actually stemmed from the planning of one drawing, which I'm really trying to bring to life. But what's ended up happening is it's kind of spurring on this whole chain reaction of, of things. And one of the things that I'm very excited about is, is an installation that this drawing is kind of birthing into the world. And it's through the planning for this piece. So there's a lot of elements that I'm trying to capture practically. And they're all really beautiful and they lend themselves to these very interesting moments. And I'm trying to find a way that they can all kind of fit together in a harmonious way. So I'm gonna just show you a couple small pieces of that installation. So behind me, you can see a bunch of things hanging over there. Let me just give you a closer look. Over here, this is part of the installation. It's more of just a test that I'm busy working on. So there's all these beautiful plants hanging from the structure. And that's me testing what plants can grow in this space. So I'm occupying a good portion of my studio testing that out. It's so messy and it doesn't look great, but it's also really cool to be surrounded by experiments. And all of these are, are growing and I'm kind of picking from them, trying to find what plants will work really well with the composition that I'm currently working with. The space is, it's just kind of littered with things. There is just wood all over the show. There's a mitosaur over there and just like a ton of sawdust. It's a good thing that I'm not drawing right now because if I was, there'd be a fine layer of sawdust over everything. So I have got a drawing going on at home in a much cleaner environment, a lot smaller. But when it comes to my studio space where I spend every single day, it's not conducive right now to drawing. Let me quickly explain what all the wood is doing all over the studio. So I'm busy working on constructing a box to try and create a controlled environment, having a grow light at the top of that box, some ventilation, and then very carefully grow a plant through a small structure and just see if it's viable. Let me show you the light. The light is actually really, really cool. Okay, so this is the grow light. This thing is hectic, it gets so hot. Uh, it's a 600 watt light, and I'm hoping that it's enough light that with a tiny little hole, it'll be able to coax the plants out of their, their darkness. Check this out when I turn it on, it's pretty hectic. It kind of like desaturates everything else, which is crazy. So the next space we have is the center space and this is where I've been doing a lot of the photo shoots. So we have things like this mask and this is kind of one of the elements of the, the reference shoot that I've been working on. A lot of putting plants into these masks and, and trying to just get a composition that, that works well for me. At the moment it's actually cleaner than it usually is, which is a relief because when this part of the studio is messy, it feels like the whole studio is messy at the moment. All the mess is kind of confined to my side of the studio. This light is incredible. I've been wanting to get one of these for the longest time. So this is an Aperture 600X Pro and I'm just so incredibly thrilled to have it. It's been the light of my dreams for, <laughs> for, for a long time. So I've just started doing some photo shoots referencing figures and so far they've come out beautifully. So I'm really excited to start planning works using, using this light and I think it's gonna just up the reference images to the next level and subsequently the artworks are just going to have a little bit of that x factor next we have this area behind me which is the table with all the mics and everything on so planning on recording a lot more conversations and using that to create potentially an online course or just a podcast studio where we can invite guests in and have a chat with them and it's turned out to be a really fun project to to set the space up and to start using it in a practical way you can see the lights that we built earlier in the month uh, being put to work and they add a really beautiful element i'm so proud of them the lines and the sleekness kind of suit the space that i was trying to create the road podcasts are there M7Bs, all of this stuff just adds for really high quality podcasts and production value, which I'm pretty excited about. Right behind me, we have the editor setup. I've gotten into putting LED strips on everything to phase. I'll get through it. Just a really wonderful space to be in, but Jess and James spend most of the time here and that's where they make a lot of their magic happen. There have been a couple upgrades to the space. We currently have two really strong computers for editing M2 Max and an M1 Max, then a NAS just kind of storing everything else and powering the whole the whole system. For those of you who don't care about gear, 
that'll mean nothing to you, but for me, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. I really love how efficient the studio has become at video production and just recording the creative process. It's become such an important part of my practice. That storytelling has been just enabled by, I suppose, all the technology that we, we kind of have here now. Finally, the side of the studio where a lot of the mold making is happening and this is where a lot more mess continues to happen. I've been running out of surfaces that are actually safe to put anything on because if you put anything here, it gets covered in plaster of Paris or silicone. It's just actually a completely hazardous space. Everything is messy and dirty, but I suppose that's what a working studio is like. The light coming through the windows is fantastic and it just helps to encourage me to come into work every morning. When I first got this studio, I didn't think I'd need more space. It looks like I'm really putting that to the test, but it's been a dream come true and having a working, crazy, messy, functional studio is, is absolutely wonderful. This is another addition to the studio. <laughs> this is Maya and she's the little studio dog. She spends time with us every single day and just you know keeps everyone motivated, helps us do our jobs, holds us all accountable. I think that's about as comprehensive an update on the space that I can give you and a little bit of a peek into the stuff that I'm busy with at the moment. I'm missing the drawing. I'm really aching to get started. I feel like every day is the day that I'm going to start drawing and just more things end up happening. But I do think it will happen very, very soon and I can't wait to just kind of get back to that normality. Everything happening now is kind of in preparation for that and I think when I finally do start this next drawing, it will it will be special and I, I'm just, yeah, really looking forward to it. Before ending this video, let me give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been working with them for a couple of years now and they've played a huge role in my career, not only in helping me maintain this channel and sponsoring these videos, but early on in my career, I was looking for a way to showcase my work and I didn't have time to learn HTML and figure out how to build a beautiful website. I also knew that it was crucial to have a website so that clients could find my work and get in touch with me. And I felt that Squarespace did everything effortlessly. I could register a domain with them and start an online store. And most importantly, I could design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, every time I got stuck there, amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try and if you decide that you love them, use this off code and get 10% off your first purchase. There we go. I hope you guys enjoy the studio tour. It's not as clean and fancy as most of the studio tours that I've taken inspiration from, but I figured it's an honest studio tour. The space is a work in progress. It's kind of never going to be as clean as I want it to be to try and film it, but it's important that we take pride in our space, but it's also a workspace and you have to have a little bit of leeway for it to be that. Let me know in the comments if you guys have super messy studio spaces or maybe they're a little bit on the neater side and how you keep it neat. Um, it might be helpful for me to, to learn that, but um, I hope you found this enjoyable. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.